All right, guys, this is an 18 Pacifica, and the shop just replaced the active grill shutter motor and the harness to go with it. Apparently, it's a big problem, and we're on the Y-Tech 2, and we are going to hit the active grill shutter replaced function. Now, when you first start this vehicle, the active grill shutter is going to cycle from open to closed. Um, I believe it's going to learn its uh, stop position by doing that. If anything gets caught in it, or if it, if it thinks there's something caught in it, it's going to actually cycle uh, open and closed about three times. And from there, it would actually uh, flag a fault code if it does, see, does think that something's caught in it. Um, but if the temperature is below uh, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, it's, it's going to ignore that because it's going to think that it's just uh, frozen in those in that weather. So if we come over here to system tests, we can this is a shutter test, we can actually open and close this. This is not the test we want after we replace it, but we can see we have our test here open close finish. Okay. Replaced here's the replace function. So this is going to clear the actuation counter. We're going to hit continue on this. Engine cannot be running. Well, we're going to turn it off then. Good old Chrysler. Accessory. Run. Okay. And counter has been reset. I'm going to run that one more time. Being I was playing with the ignition. Continue. And there we go. I felt better about the second one. Now there's also a TSB to update the PCM if you have a fault code. I believe that fault code is a P1D73. I don't know if the shop was experiencing that fault code beforehand. I'm going to check with them and see if they want to go ahead and do the update. Um, TSB says we have to update the PCM and the TCM. I'll get back to you and let you guys know. So before we check to see if this does need an update, I'm going to just clear all these fault codes first. This is our topology. Chrysler does this really good. Clear all DTCs. Continue. Okay. Low tire pressure code that's active. We have uh, 21 psi in the rear. And one thing I didn't show you before is what I always start off and do is uh, vehicle scan report. This is going to give you a. Um, it's going to save all the fault codes prior to you working on a vehicle. You can also do this afterwards for uh, CYA. Cover your ass. And uh, I usually do a configuration report just to see before I go fooling around with anything because you never know. Okay guys, so this doesn't need an update. Uh, that was for the 17 Pacifica and I'm going to show you how I just checked. We come over here to our flash menu under PCM. And if we come over here, this list the number of bulletins. We can click on this bulletin here. And this does not list that fault code I just mentioned before. It's just on the 17. I'll show you really fast. We don't see that code of P1 David 73. So we're not going to do an update if we don't need it. Back out of here, and uh, I think this one is uh, good to go.